Tobago's youth are ambitious, innovative, and resilient. Their stories, triumphs, and achievements deserves to be highlighted, and it is for these reasons that we here on the Youth Morning Show have decided to embark on a journey where we shine the spotlight on these promising youth. So welcome to Youth Spotlight here on Tobago Updates Television. I am Luke James Shrim, and in this segment, we are shining the spotlight on a young lady whose resilience and determination to prosper even when it seemed as though all odds were stacked against her is truly admirable. She is now the lone 2023 Cape Scholarship winner, hailing from the beautiful island of Tobago. And if that's not impressive enough, she has many more accolades that we will soon hear about. So allow me to introduce you to Miss Lalini Grant. How are you feeling at this moment? I'm feeling a mixture of calm and anxious right now. Okay, well, the calm part, I think that's because you're an athlete. You have yes. somewhat learned how to control your emotions. Yes, sir. So, Lalini, you are now a scholarship winner. So I want to send out a huge congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> Nice. And, um, but growing up, things weren't always that easy for you. Can you tell us a bit more about that? Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. Things weren't always easy. First, there were financial issues. Secondly, when my father had passed away, it disrupted the household a bit, especially when coming to outsiders and the negative input saying, oh, I wouldn't make it. My mom wouldn't be able to provide enough for me. There was no one else in the household that could help me out with education, so I would flop mm -hmm. and so forth. Wow, I'm so sorry to hear that because I know as a young person, when you're trying to pursue your goals and your dreams and your aspirations, mm -hmm. it's really difficult to achieve that when you have so much negativity clouding you. So mm -hmm. tell us, how did you overcome that negativity? By praying. Okay. I talk to God either with my tears mm -hmm. or just talking to him randomly throughout the day in my head, whether it's out loud. I just speak to God. Okay, and did you pick up any sort of hobbies to help you? Yes. Hmm. Throwing is actually a hobby for me. Okay, nice. It's a form of therapy. Mm -hmm. Also cooking, doing my hair, mm -hmm. those sorts of things. Okay, great. So you're a chef. That's that. That's going to help you a lot in the future. <laughs> so um, you won a scholarship, but you're an athlete. So how did you balance studies and, you know, athletics? By first, I had to keep God at the forefront of mm -hmm. it all so he could lead me to the correct path. Mm -hmm. Two, prioritizing. I had to prioritize athletics and academics, keeping it at a balance so that not, the scale wouldn't tip, basically. Third, um, my support system, mm -hmm. especially my mom, she prepared meals for me. She ensured that I had what was necessary, my teachers also pulling me up when it was needed, my friends as well, positive affirmations and reinforcements that I needed to hear at the time. And also me talking to myself, believing in me, telling me, you know, all the positive stuff to keep me going. Okay, great, great. So winning a CAPE scholarship is already difficult in itself. Mm -hmm. And you are now to be a loan scholarship winner. When you got that news, how did you react? At first I was screaming. Mm -hmm. Then I wasn't able to really process it that much. So I'm still star shocked. So it's a mixture of food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. And to the young athletes that are probably looking at this interview, I probably will look mm -hmm. up to you. What are some motivational tips you want to leave with them at this moment? Firstly, to pray to God, even when things are going your way mm -hmm. and even when it is not. Mm -hmm. Secondly, to do it. Do it sad, do it happy, do it proud. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, to believe in yourself first 
before anybody else can mm -hmm. and for to ensure that your support system is strong. Okay, excellent. I love we touch on the support system because at this mm -hmm. opportunity is your time to name them, you know, mm -hmm. thank them for how they have assisted you through the journey. You may not be able to remember everyone, <laughs> yeah. but for the ones you can remember, who would you like to thank at this moment? My mother, firstly, Lisa King Grant. Huge shout out to her. I would have not made it this far if it wasn't for her. Mm -hmm. Secondly, a um, few teachers at Harmon's, Miss Ross, Sir Map, um, Miss Cook, at Scarborough Sec, Sir Charles, who taught me sociology and now I love it. <laughs> yeah. My law teacher as well, Shelton Francois. Um, friends, Cara Alexander, Farrell Jerry, Anaya Phillips, and also my coach, Siobhan Worrell. Okay, excellent. Um, you touched on law, you had a law teacher, mm -hmm. so is it that we can expect in the future attorney Lalini Grant? Yes, that is correct. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your favorite law series? Mm, from Suits. Suits, okay. Mm -hmm. I thought you would have said how to get to it later, but um, <laughs> <laughs> still interesting. So, Lalini, I want to thank you so much for joining us here on our Youth Spotlight. Mm -hmm. I want to congratulate you once again. Keep thank pushing, you. keep pursuing, and we will be keeping in touch. We will be keeping our eyes on you because we really want to see what you have next in store. Mm -hmm. So, Discuss is your sport. Tell us a bit of how you got into it. Well, I actually was trying to purchase our spikes at Heritage Sports. Mm -hmm when I was at Hammond's for a quadrangular event held in Trinidad. And he saw me, he saw my structure, and he told me I should join a club, and he introduced me to Mercury. And he put in contact with them, I went. I was a sprinter at first, mm -hmm. then I transitioned into throws, and I fell in love with it, so now I'm there. Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> and um, you're a well-rounded student, so you don't only excel in academics, you are excelling extremely well in your sport. So tell us a bit of some of the accomplishments you would have achieved thus far. Well, currently, I'm the national junior record holder for Girls Under 20 Discuss. I would have represented Trinidad and Tobago at multiple games, including three characters, World Juniors, NACAC Under 23, and NACAC Seniors. Okay. In terms of your sporting career, where are you now and what can we expect next from Lalini Grant? I recently signed with Albany, located in New York. What to expect next is me continuing to work hard and let my hard work speak for itself. Excellent, excellent. So viewers, that was Lalini Grant, Tobago's loan scholarship winner for 2023. If you know any young person from Tobago that deserves to be on our Youth Spotlight, feel free to reach out to us on our WhatsApp contacts or Facebook or even our Instagram. I'm Luke James Shim once again and thank you for viewing.